Welcome to the channel everybody. We're going to do a different kind of video today. Uh, I got to go to town so I figure why not. We're, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the town of Waldron, Arkansas. Now, a lot of us live around here. Uh, a lot of the local channels. Uh, it's where we go do our grocery shopping, business, taxes, things like that. So I figured I'd take you on a little short tour. Uh, before we get there, let me give you some details. The population uh, currently, well, this is actually 2020, 3,340 people. I think the peak, peak population was in 2006. Uh, they've lost about two or 300 people since then, and it's like a 1% decline a year. The average income, 33,472. So that's very low, very low. I think the national average income is 72000 a year. Uh, Scott County is a very, it's it's poor county. Uh, the poverty rate here is 23.5%. Uh, that's like double the national average. Uh, the medium age for males, 35.4, 35 years old. And medium age for females is 41.3. So if you're a 35 year old man, you're looking for an older woman, hey man, move to Waldron. And uh, the population is 82% white, and the rest is uh, Hispanic, uh, just a mix of different races, uh, but it's primarily populated by white. And an interesting fact I read. 65% of the people in Waldron were born in Waldron. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to put you on time lapse. We're leaving my house now. We're parked out here. See, there's Libby's place. And I'll put you on time lapse so you can see how long it takes me to get to town. And once we get close to town, I will turn on the camera and I will show you what, what I know. Now, I've been here 10 years. I got here in 2012, so I know a little bit about it. All right, let's go. We are on the outskirts of Waldron, Arkansas. I have the camera on wide lens, so hopefully it picks up things on the left and the right. I'm going to take a drive through downtown, then we'll hit a neighborhood, and then we'll go another direction through downtown. Here, coming up on the left side is the farmer's co-op. I get my dog food there, a few other things. And we have the electric company, Arkansas Valley Electric, and the state highway department. They have a garage here. There's another feed store down this road here. Lee Waldron's been around since the early 1800s. There's a body shop. Uh, from the stories I hear in the late 1800s, it was quite the wild town. A lot of shootings, you know, your typical Wild West style town. In fact, we've had some Wild West shootout shows here that are pretty cool. And I'm going to put some pictures up at the end of this, some I've taken of that. And there are a few pictures of the town that I've taken. All right. That is a old Sonic that somebody has converted into a resident. Yeah. There's a hardware store. I frequent there a lot. And I hope you guys can pick these up. There are a lot of churches. An old service station. 
it still has full service gas on the right here. Guys, I'm just gonna see how this is working. Okay, an old hotel that somebody had just recently remodeled. Now low, low, low end apartments. These are old service stations on the right. Probably from the 20s and 30s. An old church coming up on the right hand side. I believe that's a Methodist church. Yeah, I think the camera's picking up pretty good. And I believe we only have uh, two traffic lights in town. This is one of them. Actually, there's three. And we're entering the downtown area. Now, Waldron, like many small towns, have been affected by Walmart, but now to all the mom and pop businesses, most of what you're going to see is antique stores, if you can catch them open, pawn shops. This old service station still exists, Ed's. Uh, that's an old Firestone building. As you can see, there's a lot of older buildings in here. An old Scott Theater. I believe they still show movies in there. And to the right is the pawn shop I worked at for six years. And I can't believe there's a train. Okay, well, we will head down this way till the train passes. don't see a train come through here very often. There is a big mural that the school painted in 2002. Well, again, an old antique store. This was our old grocery store. It's now a feed store. I have my barber shop right there. I apologize if y'all aren't seeing everything, but look at these houses on this road, guys. A lot of 1920s or I believe some even might even go back to the 1800s uh, some of them are in better shape than others this is a nice wide road residential area quite a few of them for sale I think this one here is sixty thousand dollars if I remember right there is a retirement uh, assisted living home there. It's new. Family Dollar. I never go in there. Don't care for that store. And uh, it's just not a big, big town. The county's pretty, pretty big and mild, you know, as far as radius. And coming up here on the right, we have another bank. Dollar General and O'Reilly's tobacco store on the left there's a smart car man those things are ugly and Walgreens where I pick up my prescriptions on the left and also on the left is the old Walmart which is now a true value uh, hardware store. I buy a lot of things there. Used to be a house right here. They just tore that down. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have a brand new Sonic. I'm just going to do a sweep around the town. Well, I'm not going to show everything. Rice furniture and appliance. They also sell lawnmowers, weed eaters. I bought my chainsaws there. Weed eaters. A little uh, past its time shopping center that hasn't been kept up too well. And McDonald's. Let's take a turn down this road and I'll show you the schools. And there's the Char Broiler restaurant. If y'all watched the video, uh, Jeff's bir birthday party video was there. And if you come here, you might stay at the Southern Knights Motel. 25 mile an hour speed limit on this road. There's another church on the right. Farm Bureau on the left. Water Department. This would be the elementary school. I'm not sure how good this stuff's picking up, guys. I don't want to hold the camera and drive. 
it's too distracting so hopefully it's picking up we have the elementary the middle school and the high school all in one area which is convenient for the buses and parents and that road to the right is the road I used to take when I worked at the ranch it's another 20 miles down that road and the golf course right there and the high school has a nature area where they plant wildflowers and all that kind of thing and there's the high school don't know how that's coming in on the camera yeah I believe I can see it Trying to get the camera off, guys. This ain't working. Okay. Get my camera or my fingers. I'm going to flip this over, guys. I'm doing this safely. And up there ahead on the right is our grocery store. Very expensive. Car wash. Pizza Hut. And one of the other stoplights. And that is the way we just we were down there earlier. The hospital is right over there on your right. Been there a few times. Three in the morning. Beating on the door. Hey man, I got chest pains. Yep. came to town is because I need to go to the grocery store but we will do the video first and down that way is the hospital doctor's offices here are some more homes and you see all the yards are pretty good size here I should have left the camera where it was I think it was probably taking good enough video but I didn't duck through a neighborhood and then we'll come back out go the opposite way downtown and that'll be about it now this is what's something they built in the middle of the street here to keep semis from pulling in here because once they get in here they can't get out it's very ugly and it still doesn't work they still get caught now, this is a new park they built recently the old high school used to stand here This fellow ahead that limps, I see him walking all over town, man. All over town. Let's go down this way. This is where the semis come in to go to Tyson. Tyson is a big employer here. And they come around this curve and they cannot make the turn. And they're always getting stuck. As you can see, some of these homes are in pretty, pretty rough shape. Others are well kept. Like I said, it's it's not a rich community. Now this is the curve where the semis get caught. Boy, that train is still going. And 
and I could take you to some pretty depressed areas. We're not going to do that. I'm not slamming this town. It's, I'll tell you what, you know, you want to live somewhere where you don't get a lot of issues and you don't have a lot of crime. And there's our third light. This is the place to be. You know, it has a very high tax rate. I believe that's a reason a lot of commerce isn't done here. It's almost 11%. So if I'm buying a big purchase, you know, a big item, yeah, I'm gonna come somewhere, I'm gonna go somewhere else where the taxes are lower. And I wish they would understand that, but they don't. Guys, I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna put this on the uh, selfie stick so I can control it better. In fact, I gotta go to the post office, so we'll we'll stop there and do that. And you can see where the where I get my mail when you send me things. Yeah, post office box is in my description. Hint, hint. I'm just kidding. I never ask anybody for nothing. You guys know that. Papa Ray's barbecue bus. Papa Ray died not long ago. Pretty sad. Turn. And there's the attorney's office where I went yesterday to start the process of having my will drawn up. That's right. It's time I do something like that so I don't leave my properties and things for people to other people to have to deal with. And there is the Walgreen police station. And we are in the post office. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, I got you guys back on the windshield there. We were leaving the post office. I didn't get nothing. I did get a lot of cards from uh, subscribers yesterday, so thank you for that. All right, let's go down this way. See if the train's gone. Yes, the train's gone. Let me take you by the courthouse. Actually, the old courthouse is now a museum. It is here on the right. That would be that three-story building. To the right, red brick. Very old building. Has a jail in the... I believe it had a jail in the basement. And ahead of us is the new Sheriff's Department. Well, I say new, but it's been here since I've been here. I don't know when they built it. And the Scott County Courthouse is there. I go in there to renew my plates for my truck, uh, property deeds, any kind of business you have to conduct. stop and say what y'all got for sale here I think it's a garage sale all right we're gonna we're gonna go through downtown once more maybe give y'all a different angle on it you gotta wait for this severe traffic jam it's as bad as it gets guys any time of the day and they finally tore that old building down And on the right, up here by the light, you'll get another view of the old courthouse. Just had a lot of subscribers ask, hey, when you, how come you never show where, where the, the town? So we're doing so. Okay. See 
if I can see any dates on top of these buildings. I, I know it's 1800s, early 1900s. The right First National Bank. I know the pawn shop used to be an old Ben Franklin store. And this bank doesn't say. Uh, if I find any history on that, I'll, I'll put it at the end of the video. That's an old service station. It's now a pawn shop. we got three pawn shops. Uh, there's the old Rock Cafe. I should stop in and get a buffet. And that's about it, guys. You know, there's some other small areas, but for the commerce section, that's it. That's all there is. We'll head down this road. Uh, I believe I already went down. Well, I didn't go all the way down it. This is the road to the grocery store. These kind of videos are hard to do for me, you know, trying to figure out where to put the camera. I know you got a shot of my hood. Uh, over here on the left is the Scott County Boys and Girls Clubs. I actually built them a website several years back. I don't even know if they're still using it. Nothing fancy, just small town America. You like that kind of thing? Well, this might be the place for you. There are places for sale, but don't buy them expecting them to be key ready. Some of them may be, but you're going to do some work, but you're going to save some money. Pulling in the grocery store. Different view. And let's see, gasoline. Two sixty-nine a gallon. Well, that's certainly better than it's been. Come on, Pokey Pokerson. I don't even remember what I'm in here for. Oh well. Oh, I think I finally decided I'm going to break down and pay the $5 for eggs because I need some eggs. Alright guys. Thanks for tagging along. We will see you on the next one. Happy trails. Yeah, I just want to show you guys. $4.68 for just one dozen great eggs and the cashier actually told me uh, they have a box of eggs for twenty dollars I guess you get about on a whole bunch of them they're eleven at Walmart these are two dollars and twenty six cents at Walmart so harps yeah there you are I'm putting this on here you guys are massive price gougers and you always have been and I think it's pretty dirty you know, a lot of these people cannot go and travel to, to spend the other. That's why your gas is probably so cheap. So people can go somewhere else and buy it. All right.